Hi, I wanted to talk to you today about a thing that I've been working on. Aardvark is a platform for building an AR layer on top of any VR experience. I'll show you a few things about it in this video, but you should really just download the latest build and try it yourself. As you can see, I'm in SteamVR Home. This is completely standard SteamVR Home. I can do all the things I can normally do in home. Teleport around, grab a ray gun, uh, grab the paint tool and draw some stuff, whatever. Home is unaware of any of the things that I'm about to show you, and all this would work the same way in any other VR app. You could do these things in Skyrim, Beat Saber, or whatever. Aardvark is built from a collection of gadgets. A gadget is like a tab in a web browser. Aardvark downloads the code and all the assets from the internet, and then runs them in a modified version of Chromium, the engine that powers the Chrome browser. Gadgets themselves build what's called a scene graph. This scene graph describes to Aardvark what it should draw to represent the gadget, as well as how the user should be allowed to interact with the gadget. One of the things that a gadget can draw is a 3D model. This can be any model in the GLTF format, and can be downloaded locally, or it can just be up on a web server somewhere. You can see, see an example of that in the gear and head icons attached to my left hand. Each of these is a gadget, and each of these gadgets is just drawing a model. If I grab the gear icon, you can see it change to draw some other stuff too. Now it's showing a grid of other gadgets that I might want to run. I'll grab this one to show you another gadget in action. Instead of drawing a model, this gadget draws a panel. This is a 2D web app displayed in a rectangle. The content here is all provided by the gadget itself. This panel is pretty simple. It just provides a button that increments the count every time it's clicked. However, because panels are made of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript running in a web browser, they can do pretty much anything that you can do with those tools. And these days, that's just about anything. This gadget could provide a notepad or voice recorder. It could be a quest guide for the game I'm playing. It could be a music or video player. Whatever you want to build, you should be able to build it. There's one other thing that I want to show you before you, I, I let you go to download Aardvark and try this all for yourself. All these gadgets are also multi-user by default. If I pick up this head gadget, it gives me the option to join one of a few different rooms. In room C, you'll see that Jared's here showing off his own collection of gadgets. Wave hello, Jared! In this case, Jared and I can see each other's Aardvark gadgets, but we aren't even running the same app. He's actually in Beat Saber right now. Each of the gadgets that I'm running locally is being shown to Jared in remote mode. The same is true for each of his gadgets that I'm seeing right now. Exactly what that means in terms of visuals and interactivity is up to the gadgets themselves. But figuring out what the other person is carrying, where their head and hands are, and how to start and stop all those gadgets when appropriate is all provided by Aardvark. I would love to have you download the latest prototype build and try it out. Soon I'll, I'll also post a video to help you get started building your own gadgets. Please let me know what you think in the comments below, or on the Aardvark Slack, or wherever else you can reach me. Thanks!